I've always wanted to return. And I tried last year twice. Uh, but this is a lucky country, and today I feel lucky to be here as we mark the 60th anniversary of our unbreakable alliance. The bonds between us run deep. In each other's story, we see so much of ourselves. Ancestors who crossed vast oceans, some by choice, some in chains. Settlers who pushed west across sweeping plains. Dreamers who toiled with hearts and hands to lay railroads and to build cities. Generations of immigrants who, with each new arrival, add a new thread to the brilliant tapestry of our nations. And we are citizens who live by a common creed. No matter who you are, no matter what you look like, everyone deserves a fair chance. Everyone deserves a fair go. Of course, progress in our society has not always come without tensions or struggles to overcome a painful past. But we are countries with a willingness to face our imperfections and to keep reaching for our ideals. That's the spirit we saw in this chamber three years ago as this nation inspired the world with a historic gesture of reconciliation with indigenous Australians. It's the spirit of progress in America which allows me to stand before you today as President of the United States. And it's the spirit I'll see later today when I become the first U.S. President to visit the Northern Territory, where I'll meet the traditional owners of the land. Nor has our progress come without great sacrifice. This morning I was humbled and deeply moved by a visit to your war memorial uh, to pay my respects to Australia's fallen sons and daughters. Later today in Darwin, I'll join the Prime Minister in saluting our brave men and women in uniform. And it will be a reminder that from the trenches of the First World War to the mountains of Afghanistan, Aussies and Americans have stood together, we have fought together, we have given lives together in every single major conflict of the past hundred years. Every single one. The solidarity has sustained us through a difficult decade. We will never forget the attacks of 9-11 that took the lives not only of Americans, but people from many nations, including Australia. In the United States, we will never forget how Australia invoked the ANZUS Treaty for the first time ever, showing that our two nations stood as one. And none of us will ever forget those we've lost to Al-Qaeda's terror in the years since, including innocent Australians. And that's why, as both the Prime Minister and the opposition leader indicated, we are determined to succeed in Afghanistan. It is why I salute Australia, outside of NATO, the largest contributor of troops to this vital mission. And it's why we honor all those who have served there for our security, including 32 Australian patriots who gave their lives among them Captain Bryce Duffy, Corporal Ashley Burt, and Lance Corporal Luke Gavin. We will honor their sacrifice by making sure that Afghanistan is never again used as a source for attacks against our people. Never again. As two global partners, we stand up for the security and the dignity of people around the world. We see it when our rescue workers rush to help others in times of fire and drought and flooding rains. We see it when we partner to keep the peace from East Timor to the Balkans and when we pursue our shared vision, a world without nuclear weapons. We see it in the development that lifts up a child in Africa, the assistance that saves a family from famine, and when we extend our support to the people of the Middle East and North Africa, who deserve the same liberty that allows us to gather in this great hall of democracy. This is the alliance we reaffirm today. 